Hello, my name is Keith Hill and I'm with Home Run Automation and Safety. Today's video is going to demonstrate how to use the lockable test switch on our G2RV series and our G2RS series relays. On our G2RVs, we do offer the lockable test switch on our SL701 standard type relay. It is available in a 24 volt DC and a 24 volt DC slash AC coil. The package itself comes in 6.2 millimeter wide uh, to save space. We do offer a 6 amp contact rating on that and you can get anywhere between 100 to 200,000 electrical operations depending on the current you're running through the contact. On our G2RS series, we offer the, lock the lockable test switch on our NI as well as our NDI versions. This comes in a 13 millimeter wide package and it also provides a nameplate that you can write on the relay for identification purposes. On the G2RS, we offer a single pole double throw. It has a 10 amp contact rating and you can get anywhere between 100 to 700,000 electrical operations depending on the current you're running. We also do offer it in a double pole double throw contact arrangement and there you can get 5 amps at 100 to 1 million electrical operations depending on the currents used. Okay, now on the G2 RVs, in order to do the test button, we have a little lockable test mechanism on the front of it that you would go and lower in order to do the test. And then when you go in, if you just lightly go and pull down on the relay, you'll actuate the output. So you can quickly identify that you do have it wired proper. If you do want to, for some reason, physically hold it in the on position, all you got to do is pull it a little bit further down and it will remain in that lock state until you go and move it back up. On our G2RS series, this one here, you would go in and pull down, slightly pull down on the, uh, the lever to expose the little test button underneath and then as you go in and you hold the test button it'll remain on for as long as you hold it otherwise if you do want to physically maintain it in the on position you just pull the relay down a little bit further down or a little lever a little bit further down and then it will also remain in the locked position the thing that's nice about this is you can see I do have it wired up to our PLC and I was able to maintain or do these tests without having my programmer down and bothering him while he's writing code. I can test to make sure that my wiring from the relay output to the devices are set correctly. Let's say for example if I have the outputs wired to a pneumatic cylinder I can sit there and I can actuate the cylinder make sure my air uh, flow valves are set proper before the programmer even gets down. Or if it's on a pneumatic, or I mean a hydraulic application, I can make sure the pressures are all set right. So in either case, it does save a lot of time having the lockable test buttons available on the relay. This ends the video for today. Thank you very much for your time and have yourself a great day.